in the vast and rugged landscapes of Australia. Farmers and ranchers face a unique and ongoing challenge the threat of attacks from wild dingo dogs on their livestock. Dingoes, native wild dogs of Australia, have roamed the continent for thousands of years, playing a crucial role in its natural ecosystem. However, for those in the agricultural sector, dingoes pose a significant concern, especially when it comes to the safety of sheep and young livestock. With sharp instincts and hunting abilities, dingoes are drawn to easily domesticated prey. This has led to conflicts between the need to protect livestock and the importance of essential conservation for Australia's biodiversity. The impact on farmers can be severe, with livestock losses directly affecting their livelihoods and the agricultural economy overall. Estimated annual damages reported amount to around three to four million dollars. The use of professional hunters and shooters is a strategy employed in various regions of Australia to manage dingo populations. Particularly in areas where these native dogs pose significant risks to livestock. This method involves selectively reducing the number of dingoes in specific areas to protect sheep, livestock and other farm animals from predation. It's a direct approach to minimizing the immediate threat to agricultural livelihoods posed by dingoes. Before any shooting occurs, assessments are typically carried out to determine the extent of the dingo problem. Identify specific areas where shooting will be most effective. And develop a risk mitigation plan for non-target species and ensure the safety of hunters and the public.
Licensed professional shooters or hunters with expertise in wild animal management are involved in carrying out the call. These individuals are trained to accurately identify target animals and shoot in a humane and ethical manner, minimizing suffering. Various types of firearms are used, chosen for their effectiveness and suitability to the terrain and scale of the target species. Shooters may operate on foot from vehicles or even helicopters in large rural areas, using rifles equipped with scopes to ensure accuracy. Hunting activities with ethics are emphasized to ensure that animals are dispatched quickly and humanely. This includes guidance on appropriate caliber and ammunition to eliminate dingoes and ensure shooters are skilled in rendering target animals unconscious or quickly unconscious. Trapping is a method used by some farmers and land managers in Australia to control dingo populations and protect livestock. This approach involves strategically placing traps in carefully selected locations, aiming to reduce the number of dingoes in areas where they pose a significant threat to farm animals. Traps do not discriminate, posing dangers not only to dingoes but also to many non-target species that may encounter and consume the bait. Among the various strategies employed by farmers and ranchers across Australia, Dingo-proof fencing has been proven as a frontline defensive measure in preventing these native wild dogs from preying on sheep and young livestock. Stretching an impressive length, the dingo fence is honored as one of the longest man-made structures in the world. Its creation was driven by the need to safeguard the southeastern regions of Australia, an area renowned for its fertile lands and dense concentration of sheep farms. This strategic barrier serves as a physical blockade, effectively preventing dingoes from accessing these agricultural areas.